بسم الله الحمد لله والصلاة والسلام على رسول الله وعلى آله وصحبه أجمعين السلام عليكم ورحمة الله وبركاته. This is your brother Hasib. Inshallah, continuing objectives of Hajj with pilgrim. In this objective, we're going to go through the full process of now of the uh, Hajj experience or the Umrah experience that we can see where the objectives are in the process of our actions. <laughs> So, Hajj and Umrah, alhamdulillah, are not difficult at all. The Umrah itself is four components. Very simply, you wear the ihram and you enter into the state of ihram. That's number one. And number two, that's including the intention. Number two, you do tawaf around the house of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And number three, you do sa'i, which is walking between the two mountains and next to the house of Allah called the mountain of Safa and the mountain of Marwa. And number four, you shorten or you shave your hair. That's simply it. Very easy. Alhamdulillah. But there's deep objectives within each one of these processes. So the objective of Hajj when it comes to, like we said, wearing or getting prepared for the experience is a dress rehearsal of the Day of Judgment. Now, when getting prepared for the Day of Judgment, obviously you go through the step of leaving this life and going to the next. And that is what the preparation of Hajj entails. The objective there is that you're getting your bags ready, you're getting your essentials ready. Similarly, while you're getting ready, you should think about not only what everybody gets you know, really caught up with, what kind of shoes should I get, what kind of clothes should I need, all those are very important questions. But the most important question Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala wanted to us to respond to. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says, وَتَزَوَّدُوا فَإِنَّ خَيْرَ الزَّادِ التَّقْوَىٰ he said, take the baggage, take the belongings, get prepared. But the best belonging and baggage that you can take with you is your God consciousness, being mindful of Allah. And that's the taqwa that Allah wants us to achieve in this journey. That is one of the objectives, that while we're preparing, in the preparation of Hajj, the most important thing that you can prepare for is how conscious of Allah will you be throughout the entire journey. That in itself is one of the greatest objectives of the entire process, is that while everyone's getting ready, remember, there will come a day you will leave your family in this world as you're going to leave them in that journey to Hajj. But subhanAllah, there's one stark difference. In this life, you get to say goodbye. They might come see you at the airport. They might all come together to you know, see you the night before and they throw maybe a party for you and give you parting words for those who have been before. But in the next life, there is no announcement. There is no getting prepared. The only baggage that you will have is the deeds that you have in this world and the deeds that you will carry with you in the next. So the preparation of the Hajj in its objectives is one of the most powerful moments for you to have a moment of self-reflection, for you to really look at what are the most important things in your life. What are the things that you're going to take back with you? And what are the things that you're preparing to take with you in the next? And the only baggage that you have is not the 30 kilos or the 23 kilos that is a maximum on the plane, but it is the deeds that you will take to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. In this life, you'll prepare in, 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 in seeing your family off at the airport as we see subhanAllah. But in the next life, you will not have that moment. That is a moment of reflection in understanding this objective of Hajj is that the best baggage that you can take is the consciousness of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. <laughs>